preserve memories in fabric when you learn how to print your own fabric photos. Use your favorite digital photos and print on special treated fabric. Our tote bag just features one image. I love the contrast of the complementary colors of blue and orange together. And rather than using a image that's printed on paper, we're going to print on fabric that's backed with paper. And then we'll remove the paper later and apply it, applique it onto your project. A few techniques to review with you how you make the paper so that you can print on it. And first of all, you're going to work with the fabric. The fabric is a Southern Belle broadcloth, tightly woven, fine quality, doesn't have any slubs or nubs in it so that the images will print well on it. You can obviously choose from white or the ivory color. And then cut the fabrics, oh, approximately 9 by 12, a little bit larger than the a standard size sheet of paper. Now you need a solution to set the fabric, make it so that you can print using your inkjet printer and the product is the bubble jet set and it's number 2000 and you use a cake pan or here we have a plastic dish, flat dish. It's important that you have something flat and then place the fabric right inside. I already have some placed in here and Use some rubber gloves so that you can saturate it. Following the instructions on the packaging, on the bottle, you'll be told exactly how long to soak the fabric and then you dry it. Just air dry it. And here we have some pieces that are air dried, pretty wrinkled. So we need to press it, of course. Just press it with a dry iron. And then you're going to do one more pressing. You're going to press it to freeze your paper, whether it's cut the size of paper or the grocery store variety. You can use either of them. Here's the pre-cut sizes or the type you may have at home. I'm going to use the grocery store variety plus a copy paper template that's eight and a half by 11. My fabric rectangle has already been pressed, I should say, to the shiny side of the freezer paper. Here's the dull side, here's the shiny side and then trim it exactly to the size so it will fit through your printer tray and just cut around the edges. You might guess you need this cut exactly like a piece of paper so that it fits through. And I'll just cut one more side and then I'll have a piece of fabric that has paper on the back of it. Let me just trim this little edge so that it will fit through the tray. Here at my printer, I've applied or placed the paper with the fabric on it in the tray. On my computer, I've selected the images that I'd like to print on this eight and a half by 11 sheet of fabric back with paper, and then just hit print. Instead of the photo printing on paper, it's printing on your fabric because it's been treated with the Bubble Jet Set 2000. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to test out your new sewing or quilting skills. Order your supplies today.